Hi, today's video is about taming and bonding with your guinea pigs. When we bring new animals into our homes, we often want to cuddle them and handle them straight away. But this video is here to guide you into approaching that the right way to have happy and well-adjusted piggies. It's important to note that every guinea pig will be different, and while some may grow to love being cuddled and held, others can learn to tolerate it but may never actually truly enjoy it. And that's totally fine, it's to be expected as they all have their own individual personalities. Having fairly tame and calm guinea pigs is important for their own welfare to make things like vet visits, home health checks and nail cutting days much less stressful and easier for everyone involved. So even for those that may never enjoy being cuddled, following these steps is important to keeping them happy and healthy. If you haven't already, I recommend watching my video, A Basic Guide to Guinea Pigs, for all of the initial info on what guinea pigs need. Make sure that you have their permanent setup and food ready before you bring the animals home. It's recommended to always keep new animals quarantined in a room away from any others that you have for at least two weeks when they arrive. Alongside following these steps, your guinea pigs will also need to be picked up for their weekly health check and given regular run time. When you first bring your new guinea pigs home, they should be left in their enclosure without being disturbed except for when you replenish their food for 48 hours. This gives them time to settle, get used to their surroundings and start to think of their enclosure as theirs. Once this period is over, you can start trying to tame and bond with them. You may have seen videos that suggest forcibly holding a guinea pig until they submit and stop wriggling, but this is not a good way to tame them and it's actually quite cruel and it won't build a trusting relationship between you and your piggy. As prey animals, they are naturally timid and we need to be kind and patient in our approach. Firstly, I recommend spending time sitting by their cage and talking to them. Letting them get used to your voice and smell is a very useful first step. I recommend doing this several times a day for about a week or so before you start moving on to step two. If your guinea pigs are living in a busy area of the house, such as the living room, then this step might not take as long, as they'll get used to the sounds of the household from there anyway. When the guinea pigs are happy to munch on their hay and basically ignore that you're there talking to them, it's a good sign that you can move on to the next step. Next, start offering highly valued treats by hand. As you haven't had your guinea pigs long, it's likely that you don't know what their favourites are yet, but don't worry. You'll soon spot which things they gobble up quickly and which they're not so bothered about. Good ones to start with are herbs, like coriander or dill. Most guinea pigs love fruit, but as that can only be fed once a week, it's not helpful for this step in our taming strategy. Again, it's best to do this at least once a day. Start off by sitting and talking to them like you were in step one before you start offering the treats. When you first put your hand in, it's very likely that they'll run and hide. This first time, they might not even come out afterwards, and if that's the case, leave the treat on the ground of their cage and remove your hand, but try to stay nearby until they venture out and eat it. Each time that you bring the food to them, they should gradually get braver and eventually they'll be happy to take the food straight from your hand. How long this takes will vary greatly from piggy to piggy. Some will be braver and start to take food from you within days. Others may take weeks or even months. Patience is important for building trust with them. The last step is to start taking them out for handling and cuddle time. As prey animals, they will likely always run when you try to catch them. It's just instinct for them. But once you have them, they should calm right down. I recommend starting with short 10 minute cuddles to begin with, again, bribing them with their favorite treats, and gradually building up the time as they get more comfortable and seem happy to be held. The more often you handle them, the more used to it they'll be, and you should have confident and well-adjusted guinea pigs. Some people like to use cuddle sacks as it helps the guinea pigs to feel safe. As guinea pigs cannot control their bladders for long, it's always best to use a towel or a pee pad while cuddling them so you don't have to worry. As always, remember to respect how your guinea pig is feeling. If they seem to get upset or have had enough, then put them back and leave them alone for a while. This way they won't associate you with negative feelings and you'll gain their trust. Remember to scoop them up carefully from underneath and support their bums when you lift them. And that's all of the steps complete. To keep them used to you, I recommend continuing to use all of these steps regularly going forwards. They should grow to be calm and confident in their home, and you'll be able to work on building a trusting relationship with them. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.